grab your mochas, grab your lattes, grab your cappuccinos, whatever the hell you're drinking, and settle on in. It's your host for today on the coffee shop, Jobbers and Goons. I hope you guys are excited for this. Make sure to go check out my main channel, Jobbers and Goons. I will be presenting a blitz battle. This battle will take place between um, King Thor and uh, Composite Raiden from Mortal Kombat and his other features. If you guys are a fan of Blitz Battles or my content, make sure to run the likes up. Let's try to hit 100 likes on this. That would be amazing. And yeah, Road to 3K. We're almost there. Who would win if these two were to collide? A Blitz Battle is a quick run through of what they're capable of. And then my decision on who wins. First off, we're going to talk about King Thor. Now, King Thor is obviously Thor, but at a much matured age in which he has obtained the throne of asgard now at this point his power and inherent power the thor force or odin force whichever one he claims some iterations have claimed differently um this allows him to access a much higher power level than he was doing before as well as he has access to other things um such as the destroyer armor and more access to rune magic in other weapons um with deep-rooted uh, rune magic that's capable of producing weapons that can defeat the likes of uh, celestials uh, and beings above that. Uh, Thor, as well, obviously has the God Blast, which would be a lot more potent, which can threaten abstract beings um, that, like the Demiurge, which can scale to uh, eternity. So he definitely does have plenty of scaling, as well as he has much more maturity in his power intelligence experience and growth as a character that makes him much more formidable than regular thor now on the other side of this battle we have the likes of raiden now raiden is the thunder god uh, most famous from mortal kombat but we're going to be talking specifically about a couple runs that have to do with him today with that being uh, injustice and mortal kombat 11 it is stated that out of all the timelines throughout the multiverse of Mortal Kombat, he is beyond the timelines, is a temporal or outside of the control of time, and controls his own fate and has fate manipulation, and should scale to threats above the timelines as well. Uh, on top of this, Raiden uh, has been portrayed in Injustice 2 as being one of the strongest among the strongest sorcerers in DC Comics, which included... Uh, being portrayed leading the likes of Constantine, Etrigan, and others. On top of this, um, he was able to breach through to the DC multiverse, which would mean inherently he'd have to get past the source wall, which gives him uh, layers in the outer for scaling at his composite form and nature. So, if Composite Raiden, the Thunder God from MK, was to pull up, on King Thor, the wary ruler of Asgard. Who do I think would win? Well, I think one of the biggest questions you gotta ask is how do we view the scaling of Source Wall versus what King Thor is capable of? Now, I don't think King Thor scales to Cosmic King Thor, obviously. As with the power Cosmic, he combined it to be much stronger, in my opinion, and was just stronger off that. But it does bode the question, even though he scales to abstracts, do they scale completely to the source wall? You could argue it, but I'm probably not convinced. So using composite rated in this manner versus Cosmic King Thor, or uh, I'm sorry, just regular King Thor... I believe Raiden would actually outstats him. I do think King Thor is still a threat through his many different hacks, through Mjolnir, uh, Rune Magic, and the Thor Force. However, um, I do think Raiden just outscales him in this sense. And as a result, I have Raiden winning the matchup. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Personally, who do you guys think would win if these two were to coll collide? Do you think King Thor is too strong for Raiden, or do you think Raiden would overpower with composite form King Thor? Let me know in the comment section down below, as well as let me know what Blitz Battle should come next. And let me know if you for sure want to see one. Join my Discord and let me know if you want to purchase one. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy Jobbers and Goons. I was your host for The Coffee Shop, and I will see y'all later. Peace.